Currently heading over to Liberty Apparel now. We've got the rest of our crew in the back there. As you can see, everyone's got their skis. We're all ready to go skiing on High Rock Park. The perfect time of year where the snow is not too thick. It's nice and crisp, but also nice and crunchy and soft. It's the perfect conditions. Again, not too cold, but not also not too warm that the snow's just essentially dripping off the mountains. You can see there. So um, yeah, perfect time of year to go skiing in Liberty County. We're all staying nice and local because, you know, no one really wants to go away. It's nice staying uh, close to home and uh, close to family. So anyways, we're going skiing for the day here. Everyone's off work just after Christmas. We've all got new skis and everything. It's all going to be good. It's all going to be a lot of fun. So uh, first of all, heading to Liberty Apparel. We're just going to collect a couple of jackets and jumpers because some people forgot theirs, not naming any names. And then once we've got those, we're going to take the bus right up to High Rock Park and start our skiing process, I guess. It's going to be a bit of fun. All right, let's go. Let's go. Uh, we've got someone here who brought their... You, did you bring a sleigh as well or um, a sled? Jeez. Right, anyways, let's go over. Everyone seems to be pretty prepared in general, so that's kind of good here. I've got the rest of my gear, my helmet, that sort of stuff. Uh, I've also got a GoPro, that sort of stuff in my bag there. So let's head into the store and have a look here. Okay, we've got a lot of just general apparel. We're mainly looking for jackets, jumpers, that sort of stuff here. Remember everyone, it's going to be pretty cold, so gear up the more gear the better essentially oh look at this is this a limited edition uh bigfoot range honestly i buy the blue one blue one is really nice again i do like blue in general so yeah okay nice nice yeah i'm definitely buying that as well hand warmers definitely definitely i need to pack some of those as well and gloves i do not have any gloves because um well last year's gloves got absolutely destroyed uh so let's try and find some gloves here as well got some general apparel Okay, I think gloves are in the corner over here. Okay, some people are already done, so let's buy this quickly so we can go and join the pack and, well, essentially so the bus doesn't miss us here. Let's go and line up and pay. We've just got a, a couple of miscellaneous things here. And yeah, let's go and pay for this and then we're sorted. Go and pay for this here. Swim my card, perfect. Okay, not a big uh, purchase whatsoever. Just some gloves, hand warmers and a jacket there. And of course, our lovely Bigfoot sweater. We found our first bit of ice here. Uh, let's just see how slippery this is. Oh, goodness me, that's slippery. Right, uh, okay, stay on the pavement here and let's head over to the bus stop. Bus should be waiting for us up here. And I think everyone's ready. Everyone should be ready. Have we got everyone? I think we have, I hope we have at least. Uh, I don't think we're forgetting anyone. Looks like we've got everyone here, okay, perfect. Let's head over to the bus, get everyone loaded up and time to go skiing. First time in over 11 months since we've done this, so it's gonna be exciting. Take our front seat here nicely. We've got everyone loaded up on the bus. All right, everyone's on the bus here. Okay, and off we go up to High Rock Park and uh, let's go skiing. Bit bumpy, but you know, as always, just have to get used to it here. Uh, our nice padded seats are giving us the extra protection we need there. There we go. Okay, coming up to the final top bit and snow is falling outside it's magical it's magical that's what i kind of mean uh, we've got a bit of fog and mist in the air so we we'll just have to take care kind of going down but it should overall be a really fun journey fifth time on the slopes yeah professional now some would call and here we go coming up to a stop right uh everyone ready to go skiing oh i'm so ready i've been waiting for this for months honestly months i've been waiting all right let's go let's go well everyone else get off first Oh, look at this here. So we had to head somewhere else because it was closed earlier this year, but look at this. When you look down, you just see the fog and yeah, well, I'm not going to be skiing down here because of the rocks, but just look at that. That is beautiful. Kind of has a yellowish tint. I'm not sure if that's my goggles. May need to clean those, but perfect time to go skiing here. Got a couple of rangers um, measuring the grounds there. Overall, very, very excited. Let's come over to the viewing platform, take some photos and oh, look at that. Look at that. So that's uh, is that the other entrance? Yeah, we came up uh, over there, didn't we? All right, this is gonna be a lot of fun. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Let me take my camera as well. Let's go and take a panorama of this as we just come around there. Look at that. That is incredible. The view always gets you every single year there. Crazy. So let's head over. We'll go and set up in the cabin, and I think then we'll go and start uh, preparing to get skiing. Here we go. Here's the cabin. Uh, right, haven't been here in a while. Make sure this is all unlocked. There we go. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. You go first. Feel free to place down your gear bags wherever you want. A couple of rooms off the back. We've got bathrooms in the back, so uh, don't don't make too much of a mess. And uh, kitchen 
Should be a bit of food in here, but uh, honestly, may need to go and restock some of that here. Uh, working TV. Oh, I love this place. I love this place here. And a decent view. It is blocked a bit and, you know, we're not exactly over the edge, but uh, in general, it's a lovely view out here. And the snow on the ground is that extra, extra beautiful uh, view there. I'd love some tea. Yes, please. Yes, please. There should be enough tea bags to go around for everyone. We're just going to go and place our bags down in the corner. We've kind of designated this bedroom to a, a storage sort of facility there just for our bags, miscellaneous um, equipment, that sort of stuff that we don't need on hand at all times. All right, everyone seems to be getting ready. And uh, where's our tea? Ah, perfect. Thank you. Go and take a seat, drink our tea, get our gear on, and then heading out should be should be a good time temperature. Winds don't seem too strong either, so I think it'll be perfect. I think it should be perfect. I like how you bring your uh, camo winter camo gear every year. Seems to work, I guess. But uh, it's it's a nice tradition you're holding up there. Can I gather everyone around here for one second? Can I gather everyone around here for one second, please? Right, um, okay. So, I just want to thank you all for coming down. Our annual meetup here at the Slopes. Uh, it's something I've I've been excited for for a long time, and uh, yeah, no worries. I'm glad I'm glad everyone's here. I'm glad you all got to take time off and uh, come down here. So, if everyone's gear is ready, I think we'll be heading out in five minutes. We'll go scout out a good location, probably uh, over there, probably over to the north, because that's where the best locations have been in past years. Yeah, probably so. Around where previous years have been, that's probably the best. It's gonna be a fun afternoon and uh, hopefully experience for everyone. All right, we're good to go. We're good to go. We've got a couple people outside. Let's get going. Let's get going. Pick up our bags here. We've got our lights uh, just in case it gets a bit dark. It is going to be foggy outside, so we'll bring that and that should be able to help us. All right, let's uh, let's get moving. I think we've got a couple people waiting outside. Okay, we've got a bit of a snowball fight going on out here. Let's go ahead and join in real quick here. Going to try not get too much snow underneath my clothing because that is always really, really cold. Uh, yeah, if we follow the path just over here to our right, that's probably a lot easier than uh, trekking over the rocks and uh, deep snow over there. Like last year, everyone be pretty cautious here. We just kind of go down nice and slowly. There's going to be a bit of ice on the rock, so just nice and slowly. We'll just uh, take our time and find the smoothest route down. We go come down here a bit. There we go. And over there, about a couple hundred meters away, that's normally a good spot. So yeah, we'll just kind of follow this uh, dirt track over there. And I think we've got everyone, we've got everyone. Okay, everyone's over here. Good morale at the moment, so let's just try and keep that up until we get over there. You can see the fog is picking up quite a bit now. Uh, well, at least slightly. Uh, not really much of a change, but yeah, definitely fog is increasing. Continue over here. Uh, just over this ledge should be the perfect uh, place. Once we scout that out, that should be lovely there. Having a look over the edge here. Look at that crisp fog over the morning air. Bit rocky. All right, let's just continue onwards here. Scout out a good location. Yeah, if we just head on a bit to the right, should be a nice location and lots of snow at the bottom as well to catch us there. Jeez, that's a lot of fog. So down there is Springfield. That's uh, where Liberty Apparel is, uh, where we got our stuff before there. Uh, so let's just continue on here. A bit of a rocky trek and then we should find some perfect crisp snow after this. Here. Anyone feel the, the ground shaking a bit? Mm, is that just me? Uh, my, I, I could just be getting a bit cold. Is that? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, the ground's shaking. Oh, no. I think there's an avalanche. I think there's an avalanche. All right. Everyone away from the edge. Everyone away from the edge. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. I tripped and fell. Come on. Come on. Everyone away from the edge. Everyone away from the edge. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's some rocks over here. Everyone back from the edge. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There's a cave here, there's a cave here. Just everyone, everyone inside. Everyone inside, let's go. Everyone inside, everyone inside. This, yeah, the, this should be fine. This should be fine here. All right, is everyone here? One, two, three. Where's everyone else? Where's everyone else? Yeah, okay, call 911, call 911 on the cell phone. They fell off the, did they just fall over or they fell off the side? Let's just stay put in here for the moment. A anyone here injured? Is anyone here injured? It seems to be calming down outside. I don't really hear much more movement so once everyone here is fine then i think we can just make our way out once it's stopped uh okay uh, everyone here seems to be fine this is a this is a strange strange place uh, it has got support beams though and it seems to be made out of pretty solid rock so definitely not going to collapse um yes yeah some water actually would be, be helpful thanks i think i'm getting a bit of a headache 
Did you see exactly where they fell? Hold on, you got a you got a camera on. You able to have a look back at the footage? Okay, perfect. Thanks. Fire department, park rangers, they're probably already on their way over there, so let's try and give them all the information we can get. One hour twenty seven oh seven. Okay, okay. Yeah, have a look at that. Look where they fell, we can relay that on to emergency services there. Okay, how are you feeling? Hey, how are you feeling? Okay, better lightheaded. That's fine, that's fine. Take take some water, okay, and just uh, sit down here, get a breather, and then let's get moving and go find them. They shouldn't be too far, so let's get moving. Do you guys know what happened there? What actually happened? Was that an avalanche? I feel like it was an avalanche, yeah, from the sound of it. Okay, right, uh, two of our... There's two people with us, two skiers with us. They fell off, uh... Hold on, hold on, let me show you this. Hold on, uh, so I'm gonna take the camera and just show the officers. Uh, there you go, just take a look at this real quick. And they fell off the cliff when the avalanche started. Yeah, we need we need to go and find them immediately because that was a very rocky area. All right, is everyone here ready to go or do you want some more time to sit down? I'm decently fine, I was very lucky honestly, but Carl's not really gonna help a lot, but you can, you can take the camera for the moment. Are you able to get us a ride down to the bottom because we don't have a vehicle with us or anything and it's a, it's a long track down. Okay, thanks, thanks. Okay, Hefty's just gonna go and check up on everyone and I think that we're just gonna make our way down and see how they're doing. I really hope they're okay. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, is, is everyone else coming out? Okay, they're coming out. All right, good, 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 good. Let's just get down to the bottom and go over to them. This is what happens when we do not check the weather ahead. It was clear though. There was nothing expected and it seemed to be all clear. So that's kind of what I don't get. But then I guess nature is very unpredictable at certain times. Like look at this fog. It was not expected to be this foggy and kind of within a matter of half an hour or so, it just picked up. Let's have a look. Uh, so there they are. I'm gonna keep my, keep my distance to be fair. Um, we'll just let fire and rescue do what they're doing. They know what they know what's going on here. Let's also just kind of stay back a bit. Right? Uh, do you think they're going to be okay? I really do hope so. They don't like. I don't really see any injuries. But then again, you know they've got a lot of clothing and gear on, so I'm not too surprised. Oh dear me! This is not how I plan this out. Um, I, I guess all we can really do is now is. Wish them the best, hope they get better. Um, nothing really we can do to help because I'm medically trained and I don't think anyone here is. It is it is pretty cold to be fair. Do you mind if we sit inside your vehicle actually? It's getting pretty cold out here and I've got all my gear on actually. I may need to dump that somewhere. Thank you, thank you. No real way of knowing. Um, yeah. Hopefully, like really hopefully they slid off here and you can see there's a slight lip. They kind of got lifted over these rocks with the lip, but they, they've landed over here. I'm not sure if they were moved or they landed there. It's just really unfortunate. And especially in the location, like there's a lot of rocks here, but if we were 50 meters, um, 50 meters forwards, then you can see it's just snow in there, padding. That'd have been a lot more padding to fall on. Uh, confirmation they should be all right. Thank goodness. So they're being treated inside the tent now, which um, is probably a lot better than being treated out on just the snow. So can't really see what they're up to, but at the same time, they should be in, they should be in safe hands. It could be in the ambulance. Everything's like happening really fast. There's so many people, so I'm not really sure where to look. But that's good. That's good. At least they're moving. They're being moved over to hospital really quickly. That's a good sign, I think. A ride to the hospital would be very much appreciated. Thank you very much, officer. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Really hope you did enjoy. If you did, please do make sure to go and consider subscribing to the channel. As we talk about the channel a lot, mass thanks for taking part in today's video. If you like to be in future videos, go and join my Discord servers and Robux groups. The links are in the description below. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.